Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10166. This build is pretty much identical to the last public preview build which was 10162. So instead of talking about things that are new in the build as there isn't anything, I'm going to talk about things I haven't really demoed in past Windows 10 builds. Uh, as well as a couple of things that have changed between the last time we spoke which was in the 10162 tablet video. So um, a couple of apps got updated, so the sport, news, weather and money apps have been updated with new icons and that's pretty much it, they are no different elsewhere. The Groove Music app was up, well I say the, Groove, the music app was updated to Groove Music and introduced a couple of UI adjustments up here as transparent as is down here. If you go into settings here you can see that this is version... 3.6.1154 uh, the title bar up here in dark mode received uh, you know a UI touch up it's no longer using pitch black as a its color it's using a similar color to that on the sidebar which definitely looks a lot better and the film and TV or movies and TV app got updated as well to the same version but nothing really changed here and there's still no dark mode which is interesting but uh, yes that's pretty much the only noteworthy changes that have happened over the last week or so. Uh, so we're just going to demo uh, something that was that has been improved in this build, and that's the game streaming experience. I've been told, or someone told me, that uh, games the game streaming has been improved. So we're actually going to do it for the first time on video here, as I've never actually done it before. So if we go into, maybe you have to do it like this. So we're going to connect. We need to connect my Xbox One. So that's my one. Let's click on it. Now we are playing, so I don't want to test stream, I want to stream. If I click on stream, things are happening. Ah, oh, alright, so I have to attach a controller. So give me just a sec. Okay, so I've disconnected the Xbox One controller from the uh, Xbox and I'm about to plug it into the PC. Now I have plugged it in, I've turned it on, I press continue, there we go, I'm now controlling the Xbox One on the Windows 10, and this is definitely Windows 10, you can see up here streaming to, from my Xbox One, uh, what's that, that's that's a button, and that's, you can mute your mic, stop streaming, so let's launch a game, let's go into Halo of course, how can we not play a bit of Halo? So I'm not entirely sure how this is actually going to show up on the recording. I hope it's not too laggy. Uh, I am actually I will have to record in 30 frames for this, as um, I'm not using the Elgato to record. But yes, this is Halo. This is loading straight from the Xbox One. Let's skip that. Skip that. The streaming is almost instant. Actually, I say almost. I believe. Well, I mean, it obviously isn't instant, but it feels instant because it's the 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 millisecond it takes to travel is so tiny, which is pretty spectacular. But yeah, I wonder if actually there's any game audio coming from on the PC. There absolutely is. This is amazing. So yeah, the only reason it's taking so long is because um. Uh, Halo is a slow game apparently, but yes, this is the game streaming experience on Windows 10 and it works! Which is surprising because nothing ever works on uh, with Microsoft products. I'm joking, that's a, that was a joke obviously. Uh, do I want to do that? No, let's do let's, let's play, let's play a good mission. Let's play uh, missions. Let's go into, let's play Halo at Valley Point Bravo because everyone loves Valley Point Bravo the best, except uh, okay, fine, whatever. Normal. Uh, yep, that's great. Uh, bravo, really point bravo. Okay, so let's actually see how this performs in game. I imagine it's going to perform fairly well. I would hope so, at least. God, I really hope the recording's actually picking this up properly. I bet it's not. So, trying to describe what it looks like, I mean, you can tell. It's streaming as the frame, the frame will every now and then drop slightly. Uh, but, um, and also it doesn't seem as, it's very, it's slightly less clear than what it would be if you're playing it on the actual console. Because right, my Xbox is right next to my desktop. So right, here we go, here is the, uh, 
this scene, I guess. I'm getting you out of here. No, no, you're not. No. Okay, well, that's great. Goodbye, Johnson. Sorry you died. Spoilers. For 2000, for a game that was out in 2007. So, I'm actually going to put the actual headphones. I'm going to mute the telly so you can't hear it. Right, muted the telly and now I'm listening straight through the actual uh, computer headphones. And my controller's come undone. Oops. There we go. Right, so. First things first, you can definitely tell the game is being streamed. There is a. Uh, a slight lag with uh, moving about and pressing buttons. It's very minor, but you can feel it. So if you're a hardcore gamer, you're definitely not going to want to be streaming your game to your PC. But yes, this definitely works, and it works pretty great. So that's one. Yeah, there is definitely a, t a teeny tiny lag with controlling, which is to be expected, really. Uh. Wow, okay. Well, let's see how good of a let's play I actually am with this uh, being able to talk and do stuff at the same time. I'm not very good at that. Find the doorway in the cliffs, Chief. The dawn is on the other side. So you may notice uh, I'm kind of all over the place with how I look, and that's because the slight lag is make is kind of disorientating me, I guess. It's making it very difficult to uh, actually like control. I say very difficult. It's a bit more difficult than usual. But yeah, like I said, you would if you're playing in a multiplayer match, I wouldn't uh, over streaming. And if you're if you're a pro gamer, I also wouldn't do this because I mean, uh, pro gamers like uh, very little uh, delay between their controls and the screen. See that doorway and this on? Get streaming is obviously going to add a, a, de a delay which is far more persistent and noticeable than that if it wasn't being streamed, obviously. Oh, blimey, okay. Yeah, the game... It, it The frames do stutter, slightly. What? Where's that coming from? Oh, the controller came undone, that's my fault. Come on, quick, I'm gonna die. There we go. Oh, man. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. I'm working on it, Cortana. Uh, oh yeah, I love doing that. Right, come on, my arbiter. Johnson's warthog. Right, let's see how driving is on uh, with streaming. Hold X. Let's go. On, go. Go, go, go. Right, so driving seems a little bit better, but that's because it's a heavy vehicle and it takes a while to turn anyway, but when you're in first person shooting, you can definitely feel it. Right, the, ah, uh, whoa, okay, so the, here's where the, uh, the true test lies. Can I navigate this course whilst uh, having a slight delay with the controller? Oh. Uh oh. Oh! Nope. Yeah! Oh, come on! Keep going. Wow, man. I really am not good at driving anymore. I used to play this game all the time. When it first came out. Move. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this is going very poorly. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I've never done this on foot before. This should be fun. Please don't fall. Because uh, if you didn't notice, 
the floor is falling uh, behind us, so uh, I am not going to make this now. Ah! <laughs> Keep running, Master Chief, you can do it. If we don't finish this, we don't get to start Halo 4. We've got to finish. Oh, well, I can't actually make that jump. Um... Huh? No! Alright, well, that was Halo in a nutshell. And, uh, this is, this is the Xbox One streaming. Do keep my, I am still streaming. There is my cursor and stuff. What does that do? Oh, God, it just takes you home. Okay, so yes, you get to control the dashboard. And also, this works, I believe it works, with uh, Xbox 360 games that are ported to the Xbox One. So that's pretty nice. Here's a bunch of other games I haven't got installed. So yes, it works with anything, really. You can just control your entire Xbox from your PC, which is fantastic. So let's quit out of this. How do I stop streaming? Pressing that. I'm going to say it was... Uh, it was good. Uh, I'm going to say input problems. Slightly laggy. So slight... Can't spell slight. Slightly laggy. Laggy. There we go. Send. I'm very helpful uh, with feedback. But yes, I guess that was the uh, demo of Xbox streaming, which I haven't actually done before. And that's built 10,166. So I didn't actually really show it off. But, you know, there's not much new in it anyway. Because right now, Windows 10 is in the process of being RTM'd. And when things are getting RTM'd, nothing changes. Because all the company is doing right now is focusing, uh, focusing on making the actual build stable enough for public release. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.